First, let's, let's, let us understand the change in the profit sharing ratio, which has already been discussed in detail in the earlier module on partnership. <clears throat> a quick revision, a quick revision with the help of a couple of examples to understand what happens. <clears throat> Here SR is equal to OR minus NR. We are saying the sacrificing ratio is nothing but the old ratio minus the new ratio. Old ratio, the ratio that the partners had before the admission of the new partner. That is the old ratio. Then when the new partner comes in, now there is a new ratio amongst the partners. This old ratio minus the new ratio, when that is positive, what we get is called the sacrificing ratio. If old ratio minus new ratio in case in any situation on the admission of a partner is negative, it would mean that there is a gaining ratio. What it would mean is that with the admission of a new partner, there has been a reconstitution in such a manner that one of the old partners also stands to gain in future. He is getting a greater share of the profits in future. That is also possible, though usually more often when a partner comes, comes into the partnership, is admitted into the partnership, the old partners sacrifice some share towards the new partners, to the new partner who is coming. So what is sacrificing ratio? The, uh, the old ratio minus the new ratio is the amount of sacrifice which is made and the sacrificing ratio is actually the ratio of this sacrifice which is made. Let us take an example. A and B are equal partners. C is admitted into the partnership for one-fifth share. What would be the new ratio and what is the sacrificing ratio? So what was the old ratio? Equal partners. Old ratio was therefore half and half. Or this is A and B. <clears throat> what is the new ratio now? Since C is admitted for one-fifth C's share is one-fifth. C's share is one-fifth. <clears throat> what is the remaining share? Remaining share is therefore four-fifth. <clears throat> if nothing is mentioned, the profit sharing ratio among the old partners will be the same as it was before the admission of the partner. So, four-fifth would be shared equally. Four-fifth, half of four-fifth, four by ten or two by five and two by five would be the new ratio of the old partners. New ratio of the old partners. Two by five and two by five. I repeat, the, this entire discussion has been di discussed in detail, this entire change in profit sharing ratio, sacrifice, the gain, etc. has already been discussed in our earlier module in partnership. Nevertheless, here C is admitted for one-fifth share. Balance remaining share is four-fifth. The profit sharing ratio among the old partners continues to be the same between them if nothing is mentioned. Therefore, four-fifth will now be shared equally between A and B. Therefore, that becomes two-fifth and two-fifth. Two-fifth for A and two-fifth for B. So, the new ratio is now two is to two is to one. Two by five, two by five and one by five. If we deduct, what is the sacrifice which is made? The sacrifice which is made is... <clears throat> If we take a denominator of 10, what are we doing? We are doing old ratio minus new ratio. So, half minus 2 by 5. Take 10. Therefore, we get 10 divided by 2, 5, 5 minus 5, 10 divided by 5, 2, 2 into 2, 4. That gives us 1 by 10 and 1 by 10. So the sacrifice, 
A has sacrificed one tenth of his share and B has sacrificed one tenth of his share. One tenth plus one tenth added up to two by ten, being one fifth being the share of C. <clears throat> Therefore, what is the sacrificing ratio? The sacrificing ratio is one tenth is to one tenth or one is to one. It may be noted that if the ratio between the old partners has not changed, between them has not changed. They were equal partners before and even now their ratio is the same. 2 is to 5, 2 is to 5. If the, if the ratio between the old partners does not change even after admission of the new partner, then the sacrificing ratio will be the same as their old ratio. Will be the same as their old ratio. Though we worked this out and concluded that the sacrificing ratio is 1 is to so what is the new ratio? The new ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1. What is the sacrificing ratio? It is equal or 1 is to 1. <clears throat> I repeat, when the, when the ratio between the old partners remains the same, we need not do this computation. We know that the sacrificing ratio would also be equal, would be the same as the old ratio. <clears throat> Let us consider another example. A, B and C are equal partners and D is admitted and the new ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1 is to 1. So here if you notice, what was the old ratio? A, B and C are equal partners which means, which means the ratio was 1 is to 1 is to 1 between them. But now in the new situation where D has been admitted, the profit sharing ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 1 is to 1. 2 is to 2 is to 1. There is a change in the profit sharing ratio of the among the old partners after the admission of D. The profit sharing ratio was equal before. Now it is 2 is to 2 is to 1 between A, B and C between the old partners. In such a case, we have to compute the sacrificing ratio. <clears throat> what would be the new ratio and what is the sacrificing ratio? What is the new ratio is already given to us. <coughs> Old ratio equal, so one third, one third and one third. New ratio also given to us actually, 2 is to 2 is to 1 is to 1, 2 to 4 plus 1 plus 1, so that is 6. Therefore, it is 2 by 6, <coughs> 2 by 6, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6. If we deduct, so the new ratio 2 by 6, 2 by 6, 1 by 6, 1 by 6. Of course, 2 by 6 is, is 1 third. There is no change in the ratio. Nevertheless, if we had to compute, we would get the sacrifice as you take 6 you get 2 minus 2. Therefore, you get 0. There is no sacrifice because mind you, 2, 6 is nothing but 1 third. So, there has been no change in the ratio of A and B. A and B do not lose anything. They had 1 third before. They continue to have 1 third share now. Therefore, the entire sacrifice is being made by C. Entire sacrifice is being made by C. So, let us see 1 third minus 1 6. We take 6 common. 6 divided by 3. You get 2 minus 6 divided by 6. 1. That is 1. That is 1 6. <clears throat> so, what is the sacrifice? Sacrifice here is nil, nil and sacrifice here is 1 by 6. So, C has sacrificed 1 6 which has been gained by D. So, what is the new ratio given to us? 2 is to 2 is to 1 is to 1. What is the sacrificing ratio? There is no ratio as such. The entire sacrifice has been made by C. So, if there is any adjustment with respect to goodwill, if there is any adjustment with respect to revaluation of assets and liabilities, then only C needs to be compensated in case of any profits, any gains. A and B continue, will continue to get the same 
will con will get continues to get the same profits same share of profit and need no further compensation <clears throat> Let us take one more example. A and B carry on business and share profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. Their respective capitals are 1,20,000 and 54,000. C is admitted for one third share in profit and brings 75,000 as his share of capital. Capitals of A and B are to be adjusted according to C's share. Calculate the amount refunded to A. <clears throat> what are the options? A 30,000, B 32,000, C 15,000 and D 28,000. So when there is a change in the profit sharing ratio, sometimes the partners may agree to also adjust their capitals in such a manner that they are at par with the profit sharing ratio. It is not an essential requirement, it is as per the agreement. So what has been decided here that capitals of A and B will be adjusted according to C's share. C is admitted for one third share and brings in 75,000. So one third is equal to 75,000. Therefore, 1 or the total capital will be equal to 75,000 into 3 by 1, giving us 2,25,000. So, the total capital should be 2,25,000. One third will be given by C. What about the remaining? Is admitted for one third share in the profit and brings 75,000. Capitals of A and B, if nothing is mentioned, they will continue to share the profits and losses. Between them will be the same as before. So what is remaining now? Two-third remains. Two-third will be shared by A and B in the ratio 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. Two-third remaining, C's share, one-third. C's share is one-third. Remaining balance is two-third. Two-third will be borne by A and B in the ratio 3 is to 2. So this is 3 fifth into two-third giving us 2 by 5 and this is two-fifth of two-third that is equal to 4 by 15. 2 by 5 and 4 by 15. <clears throat> so 2 by 5, I could also write it as multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 3 because I want 15. I want the same base, same denominator here. I multiply the numerator and the denominator by 3. I'll get 6 by 15. 2 by 5 is the same as 6 by 15. So what is the share now? <clears throat> Six by fifteen and four by fifteen. <clears throat> Six by fifteen is A's share. What is the total capital? We said is two lakh twenty five thousand. Six by fifteen of two lakh twenty five thousand will give us fifteen. This, if I cancel, this would be fifteen. 15, 6, uh, 90 and for B it would be 4 by 15 of 225,000 that would be 60,000. So the capitals should actually be A 90,000, B 60,000 and C is already bringing in 75,000. Two lakh. This is how the two lakh twenty five thousand should be there. Now, what is the position as of now? The respective capitals are one lakh twenty thousand for A. Therefore, thirty thousand needs to be refunded to A. 
Currently, it is 54,000 for B. So, 6,000 should be refunded to B. But they have asked us only the amount to be refunded to A. A should be refunded 30,000. B should be refunded 6,000. So the correct answer in this situation, only the amount refunded to A is 30,000.